This is a video many of you have asked for. How to stop negative thoughts forever. In fact, in this video, no negative thoughts are allowed. Once you replace negative thoughts with positive ones, you will start having positive results. Nice simple statement. Stop having negative thoughts, start having positive results. Cut the apostrophe T from I can't to I can. Remove all the negative thoughts in your mind and replace them with positivity, happiness, and love. Eight ways to declutter your mind. Accept what is. Be kind to yourself. You know, the worst thing we do to ourselves is beat ourselves up. We all have made mistakes. We all have had trauma. But be kind to yourself. Forgive yourself for the mistakes in your life. You know, you're the only one that's going in that coffin all by yourself. So be kind to yourself. Don't beat up on yourself. Release your guilt and fears. Relieve, release your guilt and fears. Stop it. Don't keep dragging that ball and chain behind you. Release your guilt and fears. Let go of control. You know, life is something that we respond to. We can't control what happens in our lives. We could only control our response to the situation. We can't control the situation, but we can control our attitude. So let go of control. Be more in the flow. Visualize what's important to you. What does that mean? Sit down and visualize what kind of a future you want. Visualize it because if you create it in your mind, eventually it will manifest into physical reality. So visualize what's important to you. Focus on your life force energy. Don't lay around. Exercise. Go out into the world. Meet people. Force, have a life force energy. You know, uh, may the force be with you, Yoda said. You have to have life force energy in order to have a happy and prosperous life. Allow yourself to be vulnerable. What does that mean? You have to go out to strange places you've never been before, meet people you've never met before, because you don't know what's out there. You don't know the wonderful people you're going to meet. You know, uh, there's an old expression that says, there are no strangers, only friends you haven't met. So be vulnerable. And one of the ways to be vulnerable is if you want to get into a relationship and want to approach somebody, approach them. And if they turn you down, will it matter an hour later? Will it matter five days later? Will it matter five years later? No. So allow yourself to be vulnerable because if you don't allow yourself to be vulnerable, to put yourself in situations that you feel slightly uncomfortable, you're never going to expand your world. So allow yourself to be vulnerable. Find what doesn't serve or interest you and let it go. You're in a situation you're not happy in and it doesn't serve you or interest you, let it go. Don't hold on to things just because uh, you have them in your life. If you want a better life than the one you're currently in, you have to let go of this one. You know, you can't get to second base without leaving first base. Instead of wiping away your tears, wipe away the people who make you cry. Read that one again. Instead of wiping away your tears, wipe away the people that make you cry. And it brings us to this diagram of the conscious and subconscious, like this iceberg, the majority of our life is below the surface. The subconscious controls our thoughts, our dreams, our reality, our response to the world. And as you can see in this diagram, 90% of our thinking process is under the surface. Because the subconscious mind, I said this before and I'll say it again, it only has two powers, the power of compulsion and the power of revulsion. You either have a compulsion to do something or you have a revulsion from doing something. So if you find what doesn't interest you, let it go. 
because your compulsion or repulsion will force you to go one way or the other. Every time you subtract negative from your life, you make room for more positive. Every time you subtract negative from your life, you make room for more positive. Remove negative people from your life. The people you spend time with influence your attitude, thoughts, and success more than you think. Now, negative mind will never give a positive life. A negative mind will never give a positive life. Very true. You know, you got to get rid of depression, stress, anger, grief, uh, that you're physically tired, you're frustrated, you're mad, you're sadness, you're suffering, you're failures. Let it go. Let it go. If you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Wayne Dyer said that. Change the changeable, accept the unchangeable, and remove yourself from the unacceptable. You know, the serenity prayer is, let me have the strength to know what I can change and the ability to accept what I can't. You know, you have to be realistic in life. Change the changeable, accept the unchangeable, and remove yourself from the unacceptable. Dennis Wheatley said that. Positive things happen to positive people. Positive results will come when you start to replace your negative thoughts and habits with positive ones. Positive results will come when you start to replace your negative thoughts and habits with positive ones. Make the change. Because nothing happens unless you make the change, unless you decide that what is no longer acceptable in your life. After this piece, you're going to see a video that Bob Newhart made about, uh, as a psychiatrist, helping a young woman deal with a, a, a negative uh, thoughts in her life. It's great comedy, but a very important message. Make sure you watch it. Make sure to subscribe like, like us on Facebook, and share this video. Click on the bell to be notified when our next video comes up. And please, put the word out. We put a lot of effort into these videos. Please share and help us grow our audience and help us share this information with many people that it would serve. Thank you. See you on the next video. Enjoy the Bob Duhart section. Uh, Dr. Switzer? Uh, yes, C come in. I'm just, just washing my hands. Uh, I'm Catherine Bigman. Janet Carlisle referred me. Oh, yes. Uh, still being uh, buried alive in a box. Yes. Yes, that's me. <laughs> Should I lay down? Oh, no, no, no. We don't, we don't do that anymore. Just, just have a seat. And, uh, and let, let me uh, tell you a, a bit about our, our billing. I, um... I charge five dollars for the for the first five minutes, and and then absolutely nothing after that. How, how, how does that sound? That sounds great. <laughs> Too good to be true, as a matter of fact. <laughs> well, I can I can almost guarantee you that that our session won't last the full uh, the full five minutes. Now, um, <laughs> we don't do any insurance billing, so you would either have to pay in in cash or by check. <clears throat> wow. Okay. And, I, and I, I don't make change. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and go. <clears throat> go. Well, tell what? me, tell me about the problem that you wish to address. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I have this fear of being buried alive in a box. <laughs> I just, I start thinking about being buried alive, and I begin to panic. Has, has, has anyone ever, ever tried to, to bury you alive in a box? No. No, but truly thinking about it does make my life horrible. I mean, I can't go through tunnels or be in an elevator or in a house, anything boxy. 
Uh, so what, what you're saying is you're, uh, you're claustrophobic. Uh, yes. Yes, that's it. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's go, Catherine. I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, say two words to you right now. I, I want you to listen to them very, very carefully. Then I want you to take them out of the office with you and incorporate them in, into your life. Well, shall I uh, write them down? Well, it, if it makes you comfortable, it's just two words. Most we find most people can uh, can remember them. <laughs> okay. You ready? Yes. Okay. Here, here they are. Stop it! <laughs> I'm sorry. Stop it! Stop it! Yes. S T O P. New word. I T. <laughs> so, what are you saying? <laughs> you, you know, it's funny. I, I, I say two simple words, and I cannot tell you the amount of people who say exactly the same thing you're saying. I mean, this, you know, this is not Yiddish, Catherine. This is English. <laughs> stop it. So, I should just stop it. There you go. I mean, you, you, you don't want to go through life being scared of being buried alive in a box, do you? I mean, that sounds, sounds frightening. <laughs> yes. Then stop it! I can't. I mean, it's been with me no, since no, no, childhood. No, no, no. We, we, we don't go there. Just, just stop. So I should just stop being afraid of being buried alive in a box. You got it. Good go. Well, it's only been... It's only been three minutes, so that will be um, uh, three dollars. Uh, I only have a five, so... Well, I, I, don't, I don't make change. <laughs> then I, I guess I'll take the full five minutes. Fine. All right. Well, what other uh, problems would you would you like to address? <clears throat> Whew, uh, I'm bulimic. I stick my fingers down my throat. Stop it! <laughs> Not of some kind. Don't don't do that. But I, I'm compelled to. My mom used to call me. No, fatty. no, no. no. No, we, de we don't go there. But I've been having this dream. No, we don't go there either. But my horoscope did say... We definitely don't go there. Just, <laughs> just stop it. What, what, what else? <clears throat> well, I have self-destructive relationships with men. Stop it! <laughs> you you want to be with a man, don't you? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes. Well, then stop it. <laughs> don't be such a... Big baby. I wash my hands a lot. That's all right. It is? I, I wash my hands all the time. There's a lot of germs out there. Uh -huh. Yeah, don't, don't, uh, don't worry about that one. I'm afraid to drive. Well, stop it! How, how are you going to get around? Get in the car and drive, you, you kook! Stop it! You stop it! You stop it! What's, what's the problem, Kathy? Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this therapy at all. You're just telling me to stop it. And, and, you, and you, don't, you don't like that? No, I don't. So you think we're, we're moving too fast, is that it? Yes. Yes, I do. All right, then let me, uh, let me uh, give you ten words that I, I think will... Uh, clear everything up for you. Uh, you want to you want to get a pad and a pencil for this one? All right. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Here are the ten words. Stop it, or I'll bury you alive in a box. 